Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. This is Susan Campfield with SueStampfield.com. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, either you're watching me here in our Sue Stampfield group where we have a lot of paper crafting fun and sometimes not paper crafting fun, or you might be watching the replay on YouTube. So uh, give me a shout out in the comments. Let me know uh, if you're watching, uh, where you're watching, and if you're watching live with me or if you're catching the replay later. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I am in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, and it is uh, very frigidly cold here, as it is in many parts of the Midwest. Um, so we are uh, have some very bored dogs that have not gotten out for their walk, and uh, I've had to hit the treadmill, which is not my favorite thing. So, um, but we'll we'll get through it. It's gonna last for a while, but we'll get through it on the other side. So we just have more time to craft, right? So I'm gonna flip the camera. We're gonna go ahead and get started tonight. We're making a fun um, a swing fold card. This one is super cute, so I'm excited to share with you. Uh, let me flip the camera and we'll get started. So you're gonna see my ceiling for just a moment. Hope I don't get anybody seasick here while I clip into my stand. Let me flip the camera around. Hey, Gloria, how are you? I got stuff everywhere. Let's bring this light down a little bit, see if that gives us a better lighting. So we're gonna make a swing fold card tonight. So let's dive right in. So I have a standard card base here. I'm just gonna shift my uh, thingy here. Sorry about that. Um, I have a standard uh, card base here that is cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, just like you might imagine. Now we're going to actually be die cutting um, a shape out of here, and so I'm going to uh, not fold it yet. I am going to adhere a piece of designer series paper. Now this paper is so cute. Uh, this one is from, hang on, I gotta look at the name because the names are all super duper similar. And so this is Snail Mail and the stamp set is called Snailed It. So I get them mixed up. So um, the Snail Mail Designer Series paper. This side has the cute little mushrooms with Blushing Bride as the background. They're adorable. And then this side has some different greetings that you can actually die cut out, which are doing both of those today. So again, I want to cut a shape out of here. The shape I'm going to be cutting is a square. This is actually from the layering square dies. Those are a super good staple to have in your stamping collection. The circles, the squares, you can never go wrong with shapes, right? Real basic shapes like that. And this card could be done with many, many shapes. I'm just happening to happen to use those. Um, so I want to uh, stick my paper down, but I do know that I'm going to be cutting this out. And so I'm only going to put adhesive in the corners because um, it might be a little more useful for me if I can. Um, oops, hang on. That just opened my adhesive and that one is out of out of sticky. So that won't work. So I'm just going to put it in the corners because I know I'm going to be cutting a chunk out, right? Did everyone have pizza tonight for National Pizza Day? We did. <laughs> we actually went to our, got takeout from our favorite little local independent pizza place called Fresh Picked Pizza, which is a super cute name. And we'd like to give them our business, and boy, were they busy today. So we're going to just stick that down, and then uh, I'm not going to fold it yet because we're going to go ahead and do some die cutting here. So let's move some things out of the way, bring in my die cutting machine. As I probably have mentioned before, I don't normally, this is my stamp, what I consider my stamping desk, and then I have a separate uh, cutting station where I usually do my big shot work or my uh, die cutting work excuse me and uh, anyone else still call it the big shot even though it's now the stamp and cut emboss machine a lot of you probably do still have the big shot so um, at any rate uh, but it's easier on camera if I can uh, just bring it over here to share so I'm just taking a moment to center that where I want it um, that looks good and then we'll just put our top plate on and we're just going to cut that window so that's going to cut 
you know what, I'm not, I'm not straight. And if I put my top plate on and straighten it up, everything's gonna move on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank that through. Tight fit, it's going through cardstock and designer paper and all sorts of good stuff. All right. Now, I don't want to get rid of this yet because I do need to do some more cutting. So let me just show you what that looks like. So I'm popping out that square. So now I have a scallop square window in my card. And now I can fold it. So we'll put that aside. The reason I didn't put adhesive in the middle is now I have this cute scallop square and a scallop red square that I can use for other projects. If I had stuck them together, then I wouldn't have the red one, which would be, you know, fine, but sometimes you don't want to have any regrets later, right? Um, so let me just think for a moment. I did do some pre-cutting. Um, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this away for now. I will, we will need it in a minute, but that's okay. So we have our card here with our um, scallop square, and... We're going to go ahead and score this piece. So this piece is going to be on the inside of our card, and it's going to be the action piece. It's going to be the piece that makes our card have a swing action to it. So I'm going to score this. This is 8 inches by 5, and I'm going to score this at 2, 4, and 6. Got my paper trimmer out, but I think I'm gonna grab my Simply Scoring tool. Um, I'm just more used to scoring on this one. When we first got it, it took me a while. I hadn't used a scoreboard before, and so there was a learning curve for me, but now I like I, I don't wanna use anything else. <laughs> we all like our certain tools, right? So I've scored this at two, four, and six, and again, this piece of paper is five by eight. So now I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to do some scoring. And this one is a little bit unusual in that there's a certain, um, shall, shall, shall I say, shape that we want the paper to be in, okay? So I want it to be like this. So I've got a two inch piece here and then it goes up over and down, so it's almost like an inverted U, I guess you could call it, with this side flap. And that'll make sense in a minute, but that is how you want to fold your paper. So I'm just gonna show that to you one more time so that when you recreate this card, you know where it goes. And now I'm going to adhere this inside my card. So we've got that inverted U and we have the flat piece. It's the flat piece that I'm going to stick down and only that flat piece. So I'm going to put my adhesive on this part of it. And I'll put a little across the top just to make sure it's going to stick good. And I'm going to stick that down. I'm leaving a bit of a border. All right, so now we have something that looks like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to flatten this piece out and fold this piece back. All right, let me show you that again. We want to leave this one loose because it does have a job to do, but we're going to fold it back and we're going to adhere. I'm going to think for a second. Hold on. Important thinking going on. I did that wrong. Okay. We're going to fold it flat like this. Whew. Do you ever do that where you close the card and double check yourself before you actually stick anything down? Always a good idea, right? Especially on action cards. All right, so scratch what I said before. Fold this part back, and you'll have this flat with a score down the middle. Okay? So now what we want to do is we want to adhere just the left side to the front of the card. So I have limited area. I don't want to put my sticky over here because I'm not going to know when I go past halfway. So I'm going to put it here, but I'm only going to put it in places that don't show because I don't want it to show from the hole in the front of the card. So I can tell this part right here is going to be covered by that, and I can put some adhesive here because that's going to be covered by that piece. And then anything below this line isn't going to show at all, right? 
So I'll put two pieces there. All right, so it looks like that. And now I'm going to glue the card shut. So what we've created now is this sort of piece that pops up like this. Did you leave a border on the end? Is it flush to the base? So um, are you talking about th this side? I think you can see that I did leave a border. This one is pretty close um, to the score line. Okay. I mean, almost dead on to the score line so that it has that action motion. Okay. So we're going to close that up. Let me know, uh, Deborah, if that answered your question. Okay. <laughs> Hello, pizza ladies. Hi, Cindy Sue. Uh, did you have pizza tonight? All right. So we've got our, um, our mechanism is all set. All we need to do now is decorate our card and our most, our, uh, <clears throat> our key piece is going to be, um, the piece that is going to be our swing piece because it's going to show when the card is closed and when the card is open. That'll make sense in a minute. Bear with me. All right, we're going to bring the die cutting machine back in and we're going to bring in the cute snail dies that match the snail that set. So this is part of the snail that bundle. And so we're just going to pop these off. Now, I believe the snail dies are currently on back order, but they are orderable. So I usually recommend to my customers, if something is orderable, even if it's on back order, go ahead and get it because often if they go on back order once, uh, quite often they go on it again. So you're better to get in the queue and Stampin' Up! will pay the extra money to ship it to you when it comes in. So they won't hold your stuff. You'll get your regular order and you'll get those dies when they come in. Okay, so what I just cut was a shape that actually comes right out of the snail dies. Let me show you what that looks like. It's sort of like a giant postage stamp. I mean, that's what the edge is like. It's, um, uh, I wouldn't really call it sawtooth. I really wouldn't call it scallop, but it reminds me of a postage stamp, but it's square and it has that little stitching. That one's gonna be our swing piece. But while I have this out, I'd also like to cut a, I actually already cut this cute little envelope at a blushing bride and I cut the cute little, um, I don't know, paper that goes inside the envelope. It's cut to fit perfectly. So those are already done. Um, but I do want to cut, um, I want to decorate my envelope with a contrasting piece on the flap. I'm getting all fancy here, aren't I? So I'm going to take some more of this cute little um, paper with the mushrooms on it and I'm going to cut just the flap. Um, the first time I made this card, I actually cut the whole envelope out of both red and mushroom. And then later I was like, okay, Sue, so that was not real smart because you didn't need to do that. You only needed the flap. So why, why waste paper, right? So we'll try this and see what we think, if this is a, a, a better economic way to, to save our cute little mushroom paper. All right, so I've got my just the flat portion of my envelope, and then we're going to slide this back. And I don't even know if I'm going to use this or not, but while I've got this out, I am going to cut a little mushroom. Let's do it out of the uh, blushing bride, blushing bride mushroom. No, 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 no. I'm changing my mind. Uh, hmm. I can't decide, you guys. Oh, my gosh. This would be awesome if I had the card all designed, but that would be no fun, right? I like to think on my feet. All right. I, I'm feeling indecisive, so I'm going to cut a pink one and a red one. And we just might use them both because they're so cute. All right. Isn't that cute? It pops out the little holes, so whatever I color I put it on it's going to show, but let's, let's do a red one just for fun, just for fun. And then we'll put our card together. You guys are so patient. All right. Crank that through. I think we have everything cut. If not, it's not going far. The other pieces I believe I have already die cut. So 
just to speed things along a little bit. All right. Never mess up. Look at those mushrooms. Aren't those adorable? All right. So we now have a square. And that square, and that, that could be white, that could be any color. I happen to like it better. I decided to go red on red, okay? So that is going to be adhered, but I only want to adhere it to the left side. So I could have done this with the layering square dies. Um, I could have actually cut this shape um, out of the window and then just cut a square inside of it. I decided to add in those layering squares. Um, so now I want to adhere this just on this left side. Oh, look, a whippet hair. What a surprise. My dogs have been here, haven't they? Oh my gosh, you guys, it won't come off. Okay, there, it's gone. <clears throat> so we're going to take our uh, adhesive here, and I'm just going to put a piece right here. Okay, I do not want it on the right of the score line. I only want it on the left, and I don't want to get too close to the edges of my scallop because it would show and we don't want any sticky squares right all right so i'm pressing that and so now it's going to um oh my gosh you guys i think i just did it wrong did i just do it wrong hang on hang on hang on i think i was supposed to do it that way oh good golly i was all right it's okay nobody panic <laughs> Gee, maybe I won't put this one on YouTube because I'll be too embarrassed because I made a boo-boo. Oh, gosh. I made this card a whole bunch when we did the curvy class. How many of you took the curvy class? Good thing for adhesive erasers, right? All better. All right, let's have a little quick recap. The adhesive goes on the right side. I have my very carefully drafted tutorial that I did for that class. And of course I printed it out and it's around me somewhere, but I didn't bother to look at it because I know this card backwards and forwards. Okay, you wanna glue it on the right side because then it swings and you can see it when the card opens. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. Okay, so we're gonna take our cute little envelope here and put this together. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I think I'm just gonna use a glue dot to, to put that together. Had some right here and they've disappeared, but that's okay. We have more. Let's grab my take your pick tool though. I love this envelope. It is just the cutest ever. I think I want to put the flaps in first though. Like that. And then I'm going to put a glue dot on the bottom flap and fold that up. That seems like how a uh, envelope really should be, right? All right, so we've got our little envelope, but remember we cut that little um, contrasting piece just to just to fancy it up a little bit. So we're gonna just decorate the flap of our cute little envelope here. And then we have these adorable resin heart embellishments. And we're gonna just, whoa, it went flying. It's okay. We grabbed it with our grabber tool here. Actually, I wasn't even using the grabber on. I was using the pokey end, but it worked. All right, so we've got our little envelope here. There we go. And then we've got our little message to go inside of our envelope. Now, the envelope, as you might imagine, is going to be adhered right here to our, get it on camera, Sue, to our square. <laughs> And so let's add a little adhesive to that. You know, people ask me, um, my channel and my blog and all of those things are called Sue Stampfield. And I put my name as Susan Campfield. And they ask me, do I prefer to be called Sue or Susan? And I honestly, um, does not matter at all to me. My husband calls me Sue because that's what I went by in college, which is where we met. Um, and uh, my family calls me Susan and Sue. Um, I get called both, so it totally doesn't matter. I'm going to take this little word hello out of the Snail Bit stamp set. And I don't think I've even used this one yet. 
so I don't even have the sticker on it, but that's okay. All right, so just get it on our block here, and we're going to use that real red ink to just kind of carry that theme through our card. The one I've used the most in this stamp set, I've actually used it the most for um, envelopes because I love the Happy Mail enclosed um, stamp and also the You've Got Mail stamp. So they're both so cute. So we have our little hello. That's gonna go in our envelope there. We've got our mail. And then on the inside, I actually have a little snail that is all cut out here. Um, and that can go on the inside of the card. I also have, um, you might be wondering where you write. Now, if you did a white insert on this, you'd have, you know, all over to write. But I'm actually going to add a, a white piece here. This is one and three quarters by, I have to think for a second, four and three quarters. <laughs> so that it layers on this piece right here. Another whippet hair. Don't look. I don't know why my dogs would be losing hair when it's minus gazillion degrees out. That makes no sense, right? So we can add, so this is the, oh my gosh, I just dropped my snail. Hold on, nobody panic. <laughs> don't drop your snail. I don't know, he might be kind of cute over there. So many options. This is the fun part to decorate, right? So here's where I was thinking, we, let's put the this right here. And then I did mention, if you recall, and I can even show you where it comes out of, on the back side of this pattern of paper, the mushroom, there are those greetings. And so I did uh, cut out the little hello. Um, so it's saying hello, hello. Um, you also could cut out the heart um, in either color. I think that would be super cute too. Um, you could put the uh, the snail over here. I mean, you could do whatever you want because this is a card that has some decoration options on the inside and also the outside. So, um, so many choices, but I'm gonna go with the snail right here. Although I do, I don't think I'm gonna use the hello. I think I'm gonna cut out one of the ones with the heart and I'll do that later. And I'll uh, share that picture of what that looks like. We'll just get our snail in there because he's so cute. He, she, it. And then I'm just going to attach this with a glue dot so that you can see the little uh, red polka dot mushroom there. So there we have the swing fold card. I'm gonna save this hello for another project and instead I'm gonna cut out a heart. But the card then opens like that. And so this piece swings free and you can see it on both the in outside and on the inside. And then you can pull your little extra secret hidden message out right here. So this card does not have to be for Valentine's Day at all. Um, I'm actually gonna send this one to my mom. Um, so uh, I think she'll like the snail. That's why I wanted to put the little heart, uh, the snail thinking heart thoughts. Um, I was just down at my mom's for four days. I think I shared that with you guys. And um, she has to drive from her house on a very, very long driveway on snowy, icy drive um, to get to her mailbox. And so I was picking up her mail for her while I was there. And one day, all that was there was two Land's End catalogs, two of the exact same catalog. And I'm like, that's a lot of work for two boring catalogs. So I have to start sending her more happy mail. That's one of my goals. So this card will go to mom. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm going to flip around the camera so I can say goodbye. Hold on here. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. Have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Happy creating. Bye-bye.